Good evening. Imagine on this coldest of nights a limitless supply of clean, green, warming energy. It sounds like a physicist's dream, actually, like an energy bill payers too, and an environmentalist for that matter. Nuclear fusion is a process which produces more energy than, in than it uses. In fact, it is what the sun has been doing for four billion years. Scientists have been working on replicating it for slightly less time, about 70 years, and finally have succeeded. It is a serious, serious breakthrough, pretty much everyone agrees. But don't turn the thermostat back on just yet. It may not translate into energy for homes and businesses for a few decades still. It isn't every day someone discovers a holy grail. This year, more than ever, the cost of energy has been on all of our minds. The political and economic price of relying on gas from countries like Russia and the environmental impact of consuming fossil fuels. But could a scientific breakthrough at this California lab provide the answer? This laser, the key, to a sustainable future? This milestone moves us one significant step closer to the possibility of zero carbon, abundant fusion energy powering our society. In the UK, three quarters of the energy we consume comes from fossil fuels. Bringing that down is key to meeting our climate goals. So it's hoped this breakthrough could provide an alternative. Nuclear fusion is what keeps the sun burning. Scientists have recreated that on Earth using powerful lasers. They focus them on atoms, fusing them together to release energy. Now, for the first time, they've managed to produce more energy than was put in. It's cleaner than current nuclear plants that rely on a process called fission, which emits lots of energy, but also harmful radiation. So this facility is very similar to the National Ignition Facility in the US. Where they Physicists here in the UK have spent decades developing the science, so here at the Central Laser Facility in Oxfordshire, there's much excitement. We've reached what you know, people call the holy grail of nuclear fusion research, which is to get more energy out than what you put in. It can uh, create a clean, essentially zero radioactivity, infinite, secure energy source. So if you can do all of those things in an economically viable way, then it really is the ultimate energy source. This huge laser, the size of two Olympic swimming pools, is similar to the one used in the US experiment. The laser pulses travel along here and into these portholes. At its target, it's the equivalent intensity of all the sun's light hitting the Earth focused down onto the head of a pin. There's still a long way to go until this scales up. Scientists now calling for more investment so we can harness this power to protect our planet. And Rebecca is here to talk about all this. So um, you've got one minute to explain the secrets of the universe and the meaning of life. No, that's not a sensible question. I guess this is exciting. I mean, look, there's been a lot of bad news around, hasn't there? And here there is something to be quite joyful about. But when are we going to see it? on the grid, realistically? Well, it's hard not to feel excited. It is a huge achievement, but the joke among scientists has always been that fusion is the future and always will be. Even the optimistic say it could be decades before we turn this into a realistic power source. To put it into context, this experiment produced the equivalent energy of two Mars bars. So we're a long way off powering our homes. It took $8 billion of investment to get this far and it'll take much more to progress this. Others point out that this is already too late for the climate crisis and we should be investing in existing low carbon technologies like renewables to ensure we have both short and long term strategies.